everyone and welcome to phase 3 of this Preact cast. So in phase 3, we're going to add some routing. Okay, so first step is installing. Okay, so let's get the boarding stuff first and say Preact router, router, and dash dash save, and it's not installed, it's add. I don't know what's going on with me today. So add, I swear to God, I'm a programmer. Okay, so we're going to make some architectural changes. That, that was pretty fancy, huh? You like that? Yeah. Okay, so there's a component that I have. This will render our router. So let's create a folder. This was a view. okay, a folder called routes. So routes, and inside of here, let's create a home. Let's create a home. And inside of here, let's add an index.js. And there we go. Okay, so this app will come here. Okay, cool. So now the second thing that we need to do is let me just add some spacing here is import router from preact router. Okay. So, cool. You guys like this? So this is the preact router um this is the preact router github page. So, URL router for preact uh you can actually use react router uh, and React Router 4 even works uh, directly with Preact. So if you want more advanced stuff, you can use uh, React Router. I will probably do a lesson on that too. So this is mainly what I have to do. Okay, so first of all, this actually is the default export. I don't need this. So mm, let's create a router. So router, let's close this and let's close this. So what do we want in this router? So the first page that we want is this home page. So let's get this home page. So import home. Uh, this is actually as app, but I'm going to remove it as home. Okay. So import home from go back a little and go into routes and get home. Don't need this. And the first thing that we need to do is just this. So come here, type home and give it a path. And the path is going to be equal to this. Okay. So I think by default this will I'm not running the server. So we are in dev. Sorry. Okay, so let's try this and by default this does this. We can also add like um default so default pages. So this is like the default. So I am gonna add a div called default. So I come here and by default this is gonna say Sorry, mate, this page does not exist. So let's now go to home and this still works. And if I go to random stuff, it says, can I get random stuff? Because I probably need to restart this. Or probably because my server isn't properly done. Yeah, my server probably isn't properly done. So we added a default page. And as you can see, uh, this is basically just, okay, so if you don't match anything, just come here, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now let's add a couple more pages so you can see some more interaction. And I'm going to duplicate this file or directory, and I'm going to go to user. I'm going to create a user page. I'm going to close this, and I think I got to reload this because my computer is actually really, really weirdly today. So... This is user, and this is gonna get the user's name. So, we're gonna find a way to get the user's name. And I'm gonna display this in a paragraph. This is just gonna be a paragraph. I'm also gonna do this. So, user. Uh, I don't need this. So, okay, so we're gonna say hello, name. Okay, so what we're gonna do is name. So, if there is a name, we're gonna just it the name. If there isn't a name, we're gonna say stranger. Hello, stranger. Okay, so that's something, right? Too bad it's not working anywhere. So let's import it here in our routes. Not here, but here. Okay, so let's import user. And let's add a user here. So user will be dash user. Okay, guys, so I figured out what the problem was. So this was actually a problem with the Webpack Dev server. So we had to add history API fallback. And now if we search for a random page, so let's come here and do this. It says, sorry, mate, this page does not exist. Okay, so let me go back and 
go to slash user and this say there we go it says a little stranger but mm, how do we get the username so it's basically just give it this and say name okay so now if I come here and I say user slash Sarah we're gonna get a little Sarah so that's pretty cool so one more we want to do so maybe we want to add links so let me just come here to the app.js no, not the app.js. I want to go to the home page. So let me go to the home page. And let's create some damn links. So we need to import the link from Preact Router. The match. Cool. Cool, guys. Okay. So import this. And now what we need to do is add a link. So let's go. So link. Maybe then href. That is going to be equal to user. Uh, maybe with a slash here. And says go to user and I am just gonna copy and paste this and say user slash John and let's say go to John okay so that's something okay so now if I click go to user I get a little stranger and if I click go to John we get hello John so we did this which was pretty cool so if I, I can actually remove this and this won't break I think so if I go to John it still works and if I go it just does do one thing so that's something and this is our home page so it has a link with an href of user I don't know why this is here and an href of John and it says go to user and go to John so this is something we got something next lesson we shall talk about state and build a really small application and um, that's pretty much it. Then we're going to talk about some styling and I'm going to do that with style components, preferably in the next two lessons. So bye guys. See you in the next lesson.